Hi guys and welcome to 123MyT's video on how to uh, unlock a uh, Android tab when you've got uh, the message too many pattern attempts. Okay guys, so why would this message actually come up? Well, what's happened is I've actually got this tab off my nephew and uh, he, he gave it to me and he said that uh, one of his friends, one of his mates tried the pattern which is the, the little um, kind of like a key bar to lock, lock the screen and he, tr he tried to attempt to unlock it but didn't know the, the pattern so therefore he did it too many times and now he comes up with this, this error message here too many uh, pattern attempts All right. now the big problem here is um, I don't know if you can see it first of all he doesn't have any he's not connected to any Wi-Fi so this Google account has no way of finding verifying with the Google servers what the um, what the password is, is and username is actually going to be the other big problem here is as well um, you can't actually get into it any other way now they do say you can make an emergency call and type in some numbers that didn't really work for me when I tried it um, so uh, the uh, the next next best uh, issue here or the next best way is just to wipe the device completely and put everything um, on there um, from scratch okay so um, if we open up my web page here I've already and we go into the downloads section up the top I've already uh, added the downloads here that you need to actually or a lot of the firmware so you can reinstall the firmware on this device um, so there's the MyTab 2.2 prepaid upgrade uh, the MyPad 2.2 uh, postpaid upgrade and MyTab drivers installation pack so that's just uh, drivers for your Windows if you need it um, uh, so my website's 123myit.com um, you can go there and see other tutorials and bits and pieces so I've already gone ahead and I've downloaded it you know, I'm just trying to remember which uh, which one it was um, you can try both of these it will just fail um, I wasn't sure uh, how my nephew got this one, whether he paid up front or whether he uh, had it on the contract, apparently makes a difference um, but we're, so we'll, we'll go with this uh, V9 post parade upgrade tool open that one up and we want to go into the V9 upgrade tool.exe okay. alright, then it will come up here uh, uh, upgrade tool, do you want to install the drivers for your device? Just go yes and let it install. You obviously have to make sure that you've got the the device plugged in and you can see in the bottom right hand corner down here that it's actually detected okay, the so device. Okay so what we're going to do here it says enable FTM mode, power off the MyTab, power it back on and press and hold the volume up and down keys until you see that FTM. Okay, so we're going to uh, power it off. Let's see if that will power off there. I don't know if it wants to turn itself off. So it might have to do the old fashioned method. That is to take, just take the battery out. Take the battery out real quick. That will turn it off. Okay, so it's off now. And we'll pop it back in. Pop the back back on. Okay. Make sure you plug the USB back into it. Okay. And then what we need to do is we need to hold down the power button and then the two the volume up and volume down button at the same time. So hold those both down and we'll just press the power button. My hands in the road there. There you go. There's the FTM.
FTM mode. Okay. And if we look on the screen here, it's a bit hard for you to see, but it now says uh, it's on port COM port five, and it says prepaid V9 prepaid, and it says start. So ready. All right. So we're going to. Okay. And then it comes up and it will say there. This tool is only for postpaid devices. Okay, so we've obviously opened the wrong one. Postpaid. So we need this upgrade tool. So we'll do the next one. We'll run that upgrade tool. Let's go OK. I want to run it. Do you want to install the drivers? Just go yes. Installing drivers. You may need to restart your device. Okay, so now it's detected it again. It's on the right COM port, COM port 5, V9 prepaid, and it says start there, so we're just going to hit start. Okay, you can see it's gone yellow. Let me just drag that. I'm not doing a very good job of keeping everything on the screen so you can see. Mm. Uh, just on this window here now it says uh, do not remove the device during the upgrade process port COM5 and it says ratio 4 of 100 and that's slowly going up and then it says backing up NV item switching to download mode. Okay, the device has gone off now. Okay, ratio twenty of one hundred says in this this screen down here. Downloading system IMG file, so I guess that's the file that's downloading to your device. Now the other issue with this one as well is the uh, other point I wanted to make. Um, it, doesn't, it didn't actually uh, put in a, a Google account on this device, so even if he had the Wi-Fi access to, to the device, he wouldn't have been able to unlock it anyway, because um, he didn't actually have a Google account um, set up on this, on this device, so um, it would have been a problem for him to fix it anyway he looked at it. Okay, so you can see the uh, little Android man flash up there for a second, and now this is at ratio 99 of 100. It's just doing a restore NV item check. Um, this actually takes a little while; might take about, say, five minutes. Okay, I don't know if you can see that there, but in the bottom it says USB device not recognized, and then it says your device has been successfully upgraded to Android 2.2 and it's restarting now. Okay, so there it goes. So I'll just click OK on that upgrade tool and on here it actually says uh, start and then pass and then below that it says succeed it costs three minutes and five seconds okay 
there's the Optus logo. Now the Optus logo is a um, uh, a service um, ISP in Australia, a service provider, Telco, and uh, they um, supplied all these these devices. Um, I know they they were in some other countries, like maybe some Asian countries as well. This tab, um, it's a Chinese made one, so it's pretty much everywhere. Okay, so it says turn on USB storage. Right, let's just go home. Okay, and there you have it. So now we can get into it. Um, you know, we can go into all the settings and everything like that. Uh, you can turn on your wireless if you wanted to. Um, and that's it. So that's how you can uh, get past that that problem of the too many failed uh, login attempts. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. Hopefully that was uh, helpful for some people out there. If um, if you have any questions, please uh, leave some feedback on the website. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, leave a thumbs up on the video. Uh, thanks, guys. Bye bye.